Hi everybody, I'm Rockin' Robin, and today I'm going to show you how to make ground beef taquitos. Now these are great for the Super Bowl, you know, you want to have a little party, these are a great little appetizer to serve. And I'm going to be showing you two ways to make them. The traditional way, where we fry it in the oil, and I'm also going to show you how to bake it in the oven. So I'll be right back, and we'll show you how to do it. It's time to go over our ingredients, so let's get started. For our ingredients, we're going to need some vegetable oil. I'm using safflower oil here. We'll need some corn tortillas. And I've got about a little over a pound of ground beef. We'll need some cheese. Now you can use any kind of cheese you want, but in this particular recipe, I'm going to be using the queso fresco here. And what, what you want to do here is just uh, take it out of the package and crumble it with your hands into a bowl. And that's, you know, it's nice and crumbly that way. Okay, so we'll also need some taco seasoning mix. And uh, this is my own recipe right here. And I'll give you a link for that uh, in the description of the video. So you can, you can make that. I really like making it as opposed to using the packaged stuff because you know what's in it. Here I've got half of a yellow onion finely diced, some minced garlic. Now here I decided to go ahead and use a garlic press. It was quick and easy and it, you know, it, just, it was just nice and simple and I'll make this a fast recipe for you. We'll also need some butter which we're going to melt for later and we'll need some toothpicks to hold everything together when we're frying it in the oil. And you can also uh, add to our list here condiments that you'd like to serve your taquitos with. That would be things like sour cream, guacamole, or some salsa. Get a big large sauce pan, uh, frying pan here and put it over medium heat to start it off. Put in a little bit of oil into your pan and we're going to saute our onions for just five or seven minutes. Okay, the onions are softening up a little bit. I'm going to turn my flame to medium low. And now I'm going to add the garlic. Spread that around a little bit so I can get to the heat. And we'll do this for just like a minute. Now we're going to add our ground beef. We want to break this up. We don't want real big chunks because it'll make rolling up our taquitos difficult. So as soon as this gets almost cooked, then we'll, we'll add the rest of our ingredients over here. Now it looks like we're ready to add our taco seasoning. And I'm going to add a little bit of water to this just to help it dissolve. So probably about a quarter of a cup. So I'm going to let this simmer for, you know, until the liquid has evaporated out. And then at this point after, after the water evaporates out, then you can taste it and see if you need to add any more salt. So now we're going to work on our tortillas. So we're going to fry, we're going to do our frying method next and we'll do our oven method second, okay? So what we want to do here is I'm going to pour some oil into my frying pan and put the temperature on medium high. I want that oil to be hot. I have a 10 inch frying pan here and I'm going to pour the vegetable oil into it a quarter of an inch deep. We're going to let that get hot. Here's how I like to test it. I'm going to take my corn tortilla and I'm going to let it touch the oil if it bubbles up right away. That was a little slow in the bubble part. So I'm going to wait. I want it to bubble up a little faster and that's your indication that it's, that it's hot enough. And certainly don't let your oil get to a point where it starts to smoke. Then you know it's too hot. You see how it's bubbling up right away? That's what we want. So that oil is hot enough. What we want to do, I have two corn tortillas here with my tongs. I'm going to lay them in the oil. You can see that they're bubbling up nicely and quickly. You'll leave them in here for a few seconds. I don't want them to get hard. I just want to soften them. And now let the oil drain and then I have a, a foil covered tray here that I'm just going to set those on. And I'm going to make about eight of these. And you notice I turn one over just to make sure that the oil is getting in between the tortillas. Once these are cool enough, the tortillas are cool enough for you to touch and to handle, we're going to go ahead and start filling some with our beef. Okay, so you don't want to overfill these too much because then you're going to have a hard time rolling it and it's going to be really, really big and fat. Sprinkle a little cheese. Now when you roll these, bring them in tight. So you want to make sure that the filling isn't too close to the end. Push it in if it is, push it, stuff it back in there. Grab your end so that you can squeeze it and you're going to put your, your toothpick in 
and then back out. So you're going to weave it like that. That's going to help seal that up so that when you're frying it, the stuff doesn't fall out and, and spit up. It's not perfect, but it helps. Now that we're ready to start frying, you want to test your oil again. Now mine looks like it's getting a little too hot. I can see a little bit of smoking going on. And you can see how quickly that tortilla bubbles up. All right, so now we're going to use tongs. And we've got our taquitos here, and I want to lay them seam side down. Okay, and I'm going to use the tongs to lay them in there because the oil is extremely hot and, and I want you guys to be safe. All right, so I'm going to set this in there and it may start spitting out at you. And you want to keep an eye on it because it's going to brown up on that side real quick. See? So as soon as it gets a little browner than that, we're going to turn it over. I'm going to go ahead and cook another one. And you really don't need your oil to be very deep at all for this. Okay, I think this one's done. So that is basically how you fry these up in oil. Be really careful and always make sure that your oil is nice and hot. Now that these are done frying, they're still a little bit hot. I like to tip them up sometimes to drain out a little more. And you can remove the toothpicks now. Now I'm going to show you the baked version. Now it starts out basically the same way where we dip our tortillas into the hot oil. That's going to soften them up, give them some good flavor, and allow you to roll them without cracking. Here are all of my taquitos on the baking sheet. Now what we're going to do, uh, by the way I have it on parchment paper and I have my oven preheated preheating to 450 degrees and now I'm going to spread some melted butter over the top of these so that they'll get nice and golden brown and they will crisp up, hopefully. They never crisp up quite as nicely as, of course, when you cook them in the oil, but this does help a bit. I pulled the taquitos out of the oven after only about 12 minutes. At 450, it doesn't take as long. If you want to lower it down, go 375, it'll probably take you about 20 minutes. Here are the taquitos that were fried in oil. You can see they're a beautiful golden brown. And here are the ones that were baked in the oven. It just depends on how you want to uh, cook them. So to serve these up, you know, I just placed a bed of iceberg lettuce that's uh, finely chopped. You know, you can place these any way you want. The condiments and that guacamole is what's really going to be fabulous. So you can do something like that, whatever you want. So here is the fried one. And I am just dying over here to dip this into some guacamole and take a taste. So I'm going to do that. I don't know if you can hear the crunching, but mm. oh my gosh, that is so good. Also, I have a little tip for you. You can make these the day before. That's what I've done in the past. Make them the day before and then refrigerate them, seal them up really good and then the next day you heat them up in the oven and actually I've done them in the microwave too but heating them up in the oven you know say at 350 for you know maybe 10 minutes or so however long it takes to get them hot all the way through and they turn out great so there's no need to have to make them the same day that you're going to serve them so, so that's what I try to do make a nice quick recipe for you so that you know when the Super Bowl comes around or any other parties you feel like you can make these and it's quick and make the guacamole. I'll leave a link for you to, to make that recipe. And um, yeah, give it a try. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just click that button right up there and you can subscribe. I'll be coming out with more videos every week. All right, thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hi everybody, I'm Rockin' Robin and in today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to make some homemade chicken soup. And we're going to be using a whole chicken to